Today I'll be testing over 15 games using the new 13900K processor with the NVIDIA RTX 4090 Founders Edition graphics card. You guys remember my BBC, right? My big black computer. This is the system I'll be using to test all the games in 4K, 1440p, and some of the more competitive games I'll be playing in 1080p as well. The entire system is fully up to date with Windows 11. And if you guys missed the build video, I'll drop a link to it down below. Other than enabling XMP in the BIOS to achieve 5200 megahertz on the memory, everything else is stock on the system. I wanna keep this as simple as possible. I'm also not gonna use any type of recording software because that does affect performance. So the FPS you see on the camera is the actual FPS I'm getting in the games. I do have my 4K monitor laying flat on the table and we have an overhead camera that's connected to an external monitor hanging from the ceiling to capture the gameplay in real time. MSI Afterburner will also be on at all times to record the FPS as well as other hardware information. But do keep in mind, it is not updated to support the 4090 and the 13900 k So the clock speeds and some other miscellaneous information won't be available on them. Don't have the time or knowledge to build a PC? Well, that's fine. That's why light technology exists. All their PCs are reasonably priced and they are transparent on the costs. So you know exactly where your money is going. They already have a few of their PCs equipped with the new Ryzen 7000 series CPUs like their Phantom X and Z systems. But if you want to build a PC yourself, you can still experience what it's like building a PC for the first time with their build kits. They have a variety of kits to choose from with different budgets in mind and they each have their own dedicated build guide with customer support in case you run into any problems. Now once you get your PC and if you don't like it for some reason, you can send it back to them for a full refund within the first 30 days. But if you do end up keeping it and you run into any issues, they'll send you a replacement PC as soon as possible and then you can send your old one back free shipping. To learn more about light gaming PCs, click the link down below. Alright guys, first game we're going to test out is going to be Minecraft. This is the Java edition. Um, I guess we'll start off with maxing out the settings and then we'll work our way down all the way to the lowest possible setting. So let's max out the FOV to Quake Pro. Uh, video settings, let's put the uh, maximum render distance and simulation distance. I don't even know what any of these means. I, I haven't played Minecraft guys, so I'm, I'm sorry if I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. I'm guessing this is also needs to be maxed out so whatever let's just put this maximum uh, everything else looks like it's maxed out already we have fancy on clouds and then particles are maxed out map, map levels are four whatever that means <laughs> and then the fov effect are 100 percent. so yeah it looks like everything else is pretty much maxed out on here so let's hit done let's see what kind of fps we're getting over here we took a massive hit on the fps so we're like dipping all the way down to in the 40s and 50s by just walking around i'm not even doing anything and you could tell like it's still struggling like the gpu is still struggling to keep up i'm having a little bit of frame lag i don't know if you guys can see that in the video but i'm noticing a little bit of uh, micro stutters oh yeah this i mean it's playable if you guys are used to like 20 30 fps this is this is this is definitely playable. So if I'm just standing around not doing anything, we are actually going above 100 FPS. Even just like looking around, we're staying constantly above 100 FPS. Let me mute this freaking audio. I don't know where that music's coming from. I wish I can show you guys some stuff, but I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing on this game. Like, I know you're supposed to break stuff and build buildings, but I have no clue what I'm doing. So let's go to max out the settings, or lower the settings, I should say, and see what kind of frames you can get. I don't know what the standard um, settings are in Minecraft. Let's bring this back down to normal. And then let's put the chunks to, let's put 12 on both of these. We'll keep everything else maxed out. I just lowered the render distance, the simulation distance, and then the biome blend. It's back down to normal. So let's see what this does. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a lot nicer. 600 to 700 FPS. Is that a lot for Minecraft? Let me know guys in the comment section. I don't know if that's a lot or if it's decent. It doesn't really take much to run this game, obviously. Like there's there's nothing really going on here. Oh, there's a, there's a pig over there. Let's see if we get into action if the frames dip a little bit. Give me a piggy piggy. Where's my ax? Am I supposed to like hit it with something? How come I can't see my block, you guys? Why is the pig not dying? There we go. Okay, well. Yeah, they didn't really do much. We're still getting some constant FPS, really high FPS over here. Minimum 500, 
it goes all the way up to even 800. If you look up in the sky, we are, wow, we dropped up to 1300 FPS, that's insane. You're not gonna even take advantage of all this extra FPS, you guys. You're gonna need a really high refresh rate monitor to even enjoy this. Like, you're gonna need at least a 360 hertz monitor if you're gonna be playing in these settings. But yeah, that's Minecraft, I guess. Uh, let's move on to the next game. All right, Rainbow Six Siege is up next. We're gonna start with 4K resolution. This is a game I haven't played in over two years, so I apologize for the horrible gameplay. Uh, looks like we're defending first in Skyscraper. This is arguably one of the worst maps. So FPS-wise, we're doing pretty good. This is 4K, by the way. We're getting four to 500 FPS consistently. This is... Wait, is this 4K? Those numbers seem really high for some reason. Oh my God, it is 4K. Oh, settings wise, we're on Ultra. I keep forgetting to check the, uh, the settings, you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Ultra on all the, um, all the games, just so it's consistent. Damn, 400 plus FPS, Ultra settings, 4K, Rainbow Six Siege is not bad. Let's see if I still got it, guys. My goal is to get at least one kill before I end the benchmark. The temps for the CPU and GPU are doing pretty good too. 65C for the CPU, 63 for the graphics card. Nice, we won. I didn't do anything, but we won. All right, this next round, I'm gonna go down to 1440p. Anything above 360 FPS, I feel like it's so pointless now. Okay, so we didn't get that much of a bump. We're at a constant 500 plus. So about 50, about 50 or so FPS we gained just by uh, lowering the resolution to 1440p. Oh, we're getting up to 600 over here. What? That's insane. Damn, this game runs so smooth. I'm just gonna go out and uh, go for a kill. If I die, I'm just gonna move on to the next game. Oh, let's go, baby. I didn't even get that kill. I did not even get that kill. Well, there it is. That is, you know what, just for, just for fun, let's go 1080p on this one, because it is, technically a competitive game. All right, here it is, 1080p, still on ultra settings. So unfortunately we are experiencing some bottlenecking. We're getting about the same frames as we did in 1440p, probably because we're outside, but still, we're not getting any, any massive numbers by lowering down the resolution. Oh, I think they're in here. Oh, then there we go. Got killed by Warden. All right, well, there it is. Rainbow Six Siege, moving on to the next game. All right, guys, Warzone is up next. We're gonna start with 4K resolution and then work our way down all the way to 1080p. So let's go in settings real quick. Full screen, 4K resolution, everything looks like is maxed out. Quality is also maxed out. Depth of field, sure, we'll enable that. You know what? We don't need that. And then everything else is maxed out. Yeah, we're good to go. I'm addicted to this game but I also hate this game with a passion. It's the most rage-inducing game I've ever played in my life. Warzone is like that toxic relationship. You know, you know, you have some amazing nights together, unforgettable nights, but you know you're not good for each other. It's never gonna last. It's not for the long run. Also, I'm not completely terrible at Warzone, so I can get you guys some pretty decent gameplay. It's not gonna be as bad as it was for Rainbow Six Siege. So here we go, guys. 4K resolution, maxed out settings. I'm actually very, very excited to see how this game is gonna perform. Already it looks freaking impressive. It looks really good. It looks so sharp. I cracked my legs, are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm surprised no one freaking, where's my teammates? They freaking left me, dude. And that's what happens when you don't land with your team. FPS wise is actually doing pretty freaking impressive, you guys, 190 to 200 FPS when you're on the ground. That is unreal. Look at that, 180? Okay, no, we dipped down to 170 now. Still, that's freaking impressive. 4K resolution, guys, on Warzone, a horribly optimized game. And we're pulling in these frames in 4K resolution, maxed out. Just for context, my 3080 Ti was pulling in 160 in medium settings in 1440p. This is already crushing my current PC, guys. I can't wait to upgrade Big Red version five with these parts. That is so freaking awesome, dude. Look at that, 224. It's so smooth. 
It's so smooth, no lag, no stutter. Look at this. I'm just gonna leave it in 4K. Why not play in 4K? You can see so much of the map. It's insane. What's this guy shooting at? I'm so confused. Okay, that's, that's what he's shooting at. Oh, Lord. Nice, two kills. Damn, I can't get over this performance, you guys. Seriously? If, if I'm getting this much frames in 4K, I can only imagine what I'm gonna be getting in 1440p. So you know what, let's go. Let's go ahead and lower the resolution down a little bit. This is actually impressive. Bring this back down, 25, 60, 1440. Okay, so we've got a decent 20 to 25 FPS bump just by lowering the resolution down to 1440p. This is still maxed out settings, by the way, guys. A nice 240 hertz, 1440p monitor would be perfect for this game. That's two kills. I'm gonna die here. Oh no, I just walked into that. Oh, man. Okay, let's try this again, but 1080p. And we're back. So we're gonna lower this down to 1080p. Oh my God, the text just got so much bigger. <laughs> it's covering half the screen. So it does look like, unfortunately, we are experiencing a bottleneck. We didn't gain any additional FPS, lowering it down to 1080p. I think 1440p is the, um, the lowest resolution you can play on a 4090. Anything under that, you're not gonna gain any additional FPS, unfortunately. We're getting the exact same frames as we did in 1440p. Look at that. The graphics card is not even pulling in that much power. 190 watts, 200 watts, and it's running at 75% utilization. So we're not even getting the max power off the graphics card right now because it's not getting pushed as far as much. Yeah, let's, um, let's bring it back up and you guys will see the difference. See, we're getting a little bit more power draw and the power usage did jump up to 90%. So still not 100, but at least the graphics card, whoa, 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 whoa. At least the graphics card is working a little bit more. Bruh. Okay, well on that note, let's move on to the next game. All right, Overwatch 2 is up next. I'm gonna start with 4K resolution under ultra settings. Let's go. This is another game I'm really bad at, so again, I apologize for the horrible gameplay. We're getting some pretty nice frames in 4K already. Close to 500. 530, four to 500 FPS, 4K resolution, maxed out settings. That is pretty damn impressive. And Gunfights looks like we're dipping closer to the mid 400s, but still, I mean, the gameplay is so freaking crisp and smooth. This is it, ladies and gents. You can finally rock 360 hertz monitors in 4K. We're ready, baby. Nice, finally got one kill. We're actually doing uh, pretty good. Temps are also looking really good. We're staying under 70 degrees for both the CPU and GPU. And frames are constantly getting between 400 and 500, guys. This is actually really good for 4K settings. Ah, oh. all right, let's go down to 1440p. We didn't get that much of an FPS increase, actually, but we are getting consistently close to 500 or higher, even in gunfights. Ah, oh, come on. It doesn't look like the graphics card is being pushed 100% as well. We're at 90% power with 370 watts of use on the 4090. Might be bottlenecking here as well, actually, in 1440p. It doesn't make sense. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> All right, let's try 1080p. So here we go, 1080p. Look how much the, uh, the 4090 power dropped to, 74%. It's not working as hard anymore. It doesn't have to, I mean, this is 1080p. 
We're still kind of getting the same FPS actually, not much of a difference. So if you're playing Overwatch 2 on a 4090, I think it's best to keep it at um, 1440p to be honest. You can even play at a 4K resolution if you really want. It's not going to affect your gameplay whatsoever. The game will look so much better and you're still going to get 500 plus FPS in 4K. Oh my god, I think we're getting capped guys, look, 600 FPS. Oh my god, we can we've reached the max FPS on Overwatch 2. Is that actually true? Hold on. Is there any way we can increase that cap? Look at that guys, I'm actually maxed out here. What? Well, in 1080p, you can max out FPS on Overwatch too. I didn't even know that. All right, Forza Horizon 5 is up next. We're gonna start with 4K resolution in ultra settings. Can we go higher or we can go extreme? Let's just stick to ultra because we've been on ultra on all the games previously. Okay, we're averaging, we're getting pretty close to 200. Damn, we just passed 200 FPS. 4K resolution, ultra settings. We passed 200 FPS but we're averaging actually pretty close to 170 to 180 consistently. That's not bad. There it is, we're back up to 200 already. So it looks like when there's a lot of trees and buildings around, it does dip down to like 170, 180. But for the most part, we're really close to like the low 200s. So you're going inside buildings, so it's gonna dip down a little bit. So once we get out of here, frame should go back up, see? We're back up to 200 already. Still, pretty damn impressive. FPS. In 4K resolution. Let's go ahead and uh, drop down to 1440. Okay, not bad. About 20 to 30 FPS increase by dropping down to 1440p. Is it worth it though? Right, you gotta weigh your options. Do you want a better looking game? and play with 20 or 30 FPS less, or do you want the most frames possible? If you want the most frames possible, I feel like 1440p is your um, is your best bet for Forza. GP was only pulling in 230 watts too. Unfortunately, I didn't look at how much it was pulling in 4K. But we're at 88%, 90% usage on the 4090. All right, let's try 1080p and then we'll move on to the next game. I know I promised I'm only gonna do 4K and 1440p, and then 1080p on just a few games, but I feel like I'm doing 1080p on all the games now. Okay, yeah, that, this ain't it, Chief. 1080p brings you nothing more. It doesn't bring you any additional FPS. We're still getting the same as, um, as in 1440p. I'm starting to notice a trend here. I feel like 1440p is the sweet spot. That's the absolute lowest you should go when you're playing on a 4090. Otherwise, you're gonna hit diminishing returns. You're not gonna get any additional FPS if you drop it down to 1080p in most games. We've only noticed it in a couple like um, Overwatch 2 so far, but most of the games you really don't see much of a performance difference dropping it down to 1080p. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately now it's time to take a look at Fork Knife. Um, it's not my choice. I know a lot of people still play this game, so I have to test it out with these components. Um, here we go, 4K settings. This is on Epic and we do have the rendering mode set to performance beta to get the most performance out of it. But we're gonna set the, leave the settings on Epic. If you're not into Fortnite, obviously skip over to the next gameplay. I wanna try and land as far as possible so that I don't get clapped by a 12 year old. I wanna try and survive long enough so we can check all the resolutions on this game. So far, it's actually looking promising. Four to 500 FPS already in 4K epic settings. Not bad, not too shabby. I forgot to mention, this is the no build or no fort version of Fortnite. So I'm not sure if that makes a difference in, um, in FPS. Nice, that was definitely a bot. So we're getting some really nice frames in 4K. I'm actually pretty impressed. We're getting close to 800, seven to 800 FPS in performance mode. I mean, if you could pull these numbers, might as well play in 4K, right? If you have a 4K monitor. Okay, let's uh, let's drop down to 1440, see what that's like. So yeah, not much more frames in 1440p. If anything, I feel like we're getting slightly less. No, it's actually the same. We're getting the same frames as we did in 4K resolution. Constant 400 to 500. 
Sometimes it would jump up to like seven, 800 for some reason. Look up in the sky. Yeah, we're getting, wait, can we get to a thousand? No, 959 is the most, or 976 is the most. Oh, there it is, 1,000 frames, looking at the ground in 1440p, not bad. Oh man, this is so smooth. Such smooth gameplay on this. All right, let's, um, I feel like 1080p is pointless, but why not? Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Look how much wattage is pulling from the card, guys. 94 watts, 97 watts from the 4090. And it's at 41% usage. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, some bottlenecking present here. Just for fun, let's see what it's gonna look like in 1080. Whoa, okay. What the actual hell? Inside here, we're getting really close to like 900. But when we go out, we're dipping down to 500. So yeah, I'm pretty much the same frames per second, really. So again, if you have a 4090 with a 3900K, it really doesn't make sense playing in 1080 or even 1440. You can get the same frames in 4K resolution in Epic settings in performance mode though. Got to keep that in mind. Let's go back to 4K one more time just so I can see the how much power it's pulling. Oh wow, it's the same. I feel like something's not adding up here. Okay, no, it's pulling more. 261. 267 watts, yeah, it's, it's definitely pulling in more. We're still not getting close to 100% usage on the 4090, that's crazy. That is crazy to me. Damn. Okay, well, there you go, guys, fork knife. All right, Valorant is up next. We're gonna keep all the settings on high. V-Sync is set to off, and these are gonna be default. I'm not gonna mess with any of these settings over here. And we're gonna start with 4K resolution, so. I'm obviously playing deathmatch because I don't wanna wait an entire round just to respawn after I die. At least this way you guys will see consistent FPS. This is 4K resolution, by the way. We're getting some really nice frames. Five to 700? It's not bad. I mean, I know Valorant doesn't take much to run. This can pretty much run on a toaster, but still, I mean. Oh God, damn, I suck at this game too. That's not even a person. That's a lamp. Bruh. You start to see some weird things when you're playing on a monitor that's flat on your freaking desk. Okay, yeah, not bad. Let's, uh, let's jump down to 1440. Not much of a difference. Still six to 700 FPS. It's fluctuating quite a bit. I don't know how we're supposed to play this game, guys. Are you supposed to tap like you do in CSGO or are you supposed to hold down? The trigger, I have, I have no clue how to play this game. Yeah, I, I don't, I give up, I give up. Let's try 1080p and get the hell out of here. Still the same. No difference whatsoever from 4K. That's nuts, that's actually nuts. And it's only pulling less than 100 watts from the 4090. When are you supposed to look down on the site? Okay, I'm onto something. <laughs> All right, well, that's Valorant, ladies and gents, moving on. All right, so I was gonna test out Battlefield 2042, but a lot of people actually hate that game and they play Battlefield 5 instead, so I'm testing out Battlefield 5 in this video. We're gonna start with 4K resolution in pretty much maxed out settings, or I should say ultra settings. And here are the settings for everything else. You guys can take a look at that. And here we go. Oh wow, this is running really smooth actually. This is nice. 138, 140 FPS, not bad. This game looks so much nicer in 4K. Definitely a huge difference from 1080, without a doubt. All right, we're dipping down to 120-ish. We're still in the 130s. Yeah, this is definitely playable in 4K, wow. I still don't know what I'm doing. I've only played this game like five times max, I think. Okay, can't hide in there. I'm gonna go somewhere safe so I can uh, lower the resolution down to 1440. There we go. 2560 by 1440. Do keep in mind, by the way, this is a uh, DirectX 11. I did not enable DX 12. 
Oh yeah, we definitely got more frames. Now we're up to 185. Oh, you know what guys, we're capped. When I ADS, we're capped at 200. I ran around the entire map already and I haven't seen one freaking enemy, you guys. All right, so I did increase the cap to 360, so we won't be hitting the FPS cap anytime soon. So in 1440, we are getting some really nice frames, really close to 240. 220 to 240 FPS in 1440p ultra settings. That is very nice. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Still got him. All right, let's uh, let's go down to 1080. Not a huge difference in performance, dropping it down to 1080. I mean, I think we gained like 10 FPS more. Nothing that crazy. Oh no, that's that's a tank. Okay, well that's Battlefield 5. All right guys, Apex Legends is up next. We're gonna start off 4K resolution, pretty much maxed out settings. Um, as you guys can see here, this is another game I'm really terrible at, so I do apologize on the crappy gameplay that you guys are gonna witness. So this is actually one of the games that was originally capped at 144 FPS, so I had to change some things in the settings to increase the cap, but the highest I can increase it to is 300 and we're kind of hitting that already. Yeah, look at that, 4K resolution, we're already hitting the 300 FPS cap, so there's really no point in lowering it to 1440p or even 1080 at this point. Since we're already achieving max FPS and 4K resolution, that is, that's freaking nuts. If anyone knows how to increase the cap above 300, do let me know. I mean, I pretty much searched everywhere online and there is nothing I can find. I even went into the NVIDIA control panel and removed the cap there. And we're still getting capped, unfortunately. I mean, we're not getting a steady 300 FPS. So yeah, we're still dipping down to 200. Let's go ahead and lower it down to 1440p. So I guess in 4K, you're getting anywhere between 200 and 300 FPS. It fluctuates quite a bit for Apex Legends. Let's go ahead and uh, lower down to 1440p. Let's see if we can get closer to the, um, closer to the 300 FPS cap. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna be getting a steady 300 FPS in 1440p without a doubt with the 4090 and 13900K. So yeah, if you guys have a 13900K and a 4090 and you're playing Apex Legends, 1440p is where you want it. Uh, God damn it. All right, well, that's Apex Legends. So Requiem, A Plague's Tale is up next. This is one of the newer titles that was just released. We're gonna max out the game in ultra settings and we're gonna start with 4K resolution as always. I did set the resolution scale to 100% obviously so we can match the resolution. So here we go. This is definitely a more demanding title. So the frames are gonna take a nice hit. So we're only averaging around 70 FPS so far. This is a very beautiful game by the way. There's just so much going on in the screen. Look at all the textures from the rocks to the trees even the mountains in the distance. So yeah, this is a, a very demanding title for sure. And the fact that we can still push above 60 FPS in 4K maxed out settings is pretty damn impressive. So let's go down to 1440. All right, so that got us to above 100 FPS. So about a 40, 40 to 50 FPS jump just by lowering the resolution one notch. We're getting really close to 130 in some instances, but definitely well over 100 FPS consistently. It hasn't dipped once. All right, and finally, let's check out 1080p. Okay, now we're up to 150. So another 20, 20-ish FPS, I would say, by playing in 1080p. So obviously the more demanding the game is, the more you wanna play in a lower resolution if you want to take advantage of higher frames. Oh damn, we're even, we're still going up. 170. Look at the 4090 usage in 1080p, 98%. We're up to 365 watts of power on the 4090 with a 2700 megahertz clock speed. Very nice. All right, moving on to the next game. All right, so obviously we gotta give Cyberpunk 2077 a try on this. Um, we're gonna start with 4K in ultra settings. 
So let's put the ultra preset on here and then scroll down. Field of view is maxed out to 100. Everything else is set to on. I'm not touching any of these settings because I already selected the ultra preset. Um, I'm a little disappointed if I'm being honest. For context, if you guys saw my DLSS 3.0 performance test on the 4090, I was getting around the same FPS actually, if not, maybe a little bit more with the 12900K and the 4090. So the fact that we're getting pretty much the same FPS with the 13900K tells me that there isn't any huge performance gains on Cyberpunk. We're actually dipping all the way down to 60 actually. Wow, that's... Um, it's a little disappointing. Now I was using a different build of 2077 that Nvidia provided me. So maybe it was a bit more optimized with the 4090. This is using the retail version, the current version that's available uh, for Cyberpunk. So maybe that is impacting the performance difference. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure here. Let's lower it down to 1440p, see if that makes a difference. Or I should say, let's see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, um, pretty much double. We're up to 140, 150, with low dips to 125-ish, to the low 120s. 1440p definitely is um, the better option in playing Cyberpunk. It's still crazy to see how freaking demanding this game is, even with a 4090 in here and a 13900K. So yeah, in some areas we are getting up to 140 FPS, which is not bad. I was still expecting a little bit more, to be honest. Okay, let's let's try 1080. Wow. Seriously, not even, don't even see a difference. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with Cyberpunk, you guys. Um, we literally saw no difference in performance, bringing it down to 1080p. The, the quality took a nice hit, but we're still getting the same frames as we did in 1440p. Is, is 2077, is Cyberpunk really this demanding? We're at 65% usage on the GPU and it's pulling in barely 150 FPS in 1080p. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this one. Um, I'm not impressed, that's for sure. Let's lower the settings, I'm just curious. Let's, um, let's put it low. See what happens when you put it on low. Still nothing. Okay, 130, I mean, there's really no difference. Ray Tracing Ultra, why not? Let's give uh, Ray Tracing a try. Yeah, we're pretty much getting the same performance, maybe a little bit less, but we're playing a 4K resolution with Ray Tracing Ultra and DLSS enabled. This is DLSS 2.0, by the way. 3.0 is not available at the time of making this video for the public version of Cyberpunk. I mean, yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but what can you do? All right, moving on to the next game. All right, let's give Destiny 2 a try. Here we go, full screen, 4K resolution at the highest possible settings. MSI Afterburner, unfortunately, does not work with this, so we're gonna be using the in-game FPS reader for Destiny 2. Oh, that is really tiny. I don't know if, if you guys can even see that. We'll try and max it out for you, or zoom in on the FPS so you can see what we're getting, but we're pretty much hovering around 200, it looks like. We haven't dipped under 200 yet. That's not bad for 4K. So yeah, anywhere between 200 and 234 FPS. In maxed out settings, 4K, not bad. Let's go and lower it to 1440. Oh, wow. We jumped up to 398. Pretty close to 400. We pretty much almost doubled the FPS. There it is, we just, we just hit 400. Very nice. Okay, let's try 1080. Um, okay, we still got an FPS gain, but not by much. Actually, yeah, we're hitting constantly over 400 FPS. Wow, we're still getting some dips underneath 400, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent over 400. Look at that, 421, 423. All right, just for fun, let's go ahead and put it on the lowest settings possible. Okay, that doesn't bring you anything. <laughs> We have hit the wall. We've hit the FPS wall with 1080p in the highest settings. So that should be your lowest, your lowest settings when playing Destiny 2 in 1080p. High settings or maxed out settings. That should be the lowest settings to play Destiny 2 in with the 13900K and the 4090. All right. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at God of War next. We're gonna start with ultra settings 
and for some reason, this game only supports borderless or windowed. You can't do full screen for some reason. So it's gonna match the resolution of your monitor. So um, yeah, it looks like I can only play this game in 4K. I will try to lower the actual resolution of the monitor to see if this changes. But other than that, this is the only resolution I can test currently. So this is another game that's very difficult to run and clearly it's bringing the 4090 down to its knees in ultra settings. We're getting anywhere between 110 to 150 FPS. So it does fluctuate quite a bit depending on what's going on on the screen and also if you're in combat or not. Oh wow, we can get up to 180 FPS by looking up. That's crazy. Okay, let's try 1440. I wonder if I can just change the resolution of the monitor and that should automatically change the resolution of the game. Let's see if that works. Yes, it did. All right, so this is 1440. Definitely a difference in performance already. We are getting up to 200, almost 200 FPS consistently too, look at that. 260 now. Okay, let's try 1080. And this, ladies and gents, is 1080. It's still climbing, but it's dipping down quite a bit as well. Okay, not bad. Not a huge performance difference, bringing it down to 1080. It still dips down quite a bit, like it just went down to 280 FPS. We're definitely starting to see diminishing returns and 1080p. 293 was the most we got. So yeah, I think it's better to leave uh, God of War in 1440p, to be honest. All right, so uh, Microsoft Flight Sim is also one of the games you guys highly recommended for me to test out. So we're gonna give it a go. Here it is, 4K resolution. We are gonna be playing in ultra settings. Everything else, I'm not gonna touch. It's pretty much already been set. Okay, so I actually don't know how to play this game and it might take me a full year to get the hang of the controllers. So I'm gonna try and stay in autopilot if there's even an option. And I'm just gonna lower down the resolution so we can at least see the, uh, the performance between each one. Okay, so this is 4K, maxed out settings. It's actually not doing too bad. We're getting constant 111 FPS, it looks like. Can you move around? Yeah, I can, I can look around. This feels so weird. Wow, the ocean looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, here it is, 4K. Let's go ahead and um, lower it down to 1440. Not much of a difference, actually. That's a little disappointing. We got maybe, what, a five or 10 FPS increase in 1440p. That is, um, that's unfortunate, actually. All right, let's try 1080. What? How are we not getting more frames in 1080? Is that normal, you guys? I don't know if anyone plays uh, Flight Slam. Let me know in the comment section. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this plane, but I feel like we should be getting way more in 1080. Let's try lowering the quality all the way down. See if that does anything. Let's put low end. Okay, there we go. Close to 200 now in low settings. <laughs> okay, well. All right, moving on to another game. I suck at this game. All right, Horizon Zero Dawn is up next. I think we have two more games after this. I lost track of time, I'm hungry. I can't wait to get some food in my system. So here we are, 4K resolution, field of view is maxed out. Everything is set to, let's keep it at uh, the max settings. So ultimate quality is the max settings over here. Okay, that's good, we're not getting capped. This is also another pretty demanding title and we're averaging between 120 to 140-ish FPS. Okay, it's bringing down to 1440, not bad. About a 20 to 30 FPS increase by dropping down the resolution. Okay, let's see what 1080p brings us. Nothing. We are at a bottleneck, it seems, with 1080p. No surprise here. Actually, no, we got a slight improvements. We're getting pretty close to 200 now. But an extra five or 10 FPS is not gonna make a huge deal, so it's better to play in 1440p. All right, GTA 5 is up next, even though nobody plays this game anymore. I'm still gonna test it out. We're gonna start with 4K, and I'm gonna leave all the settings on. I think everything is pretty much maxed out, except MSAA is set to off. Everything else is set to very high. 
I don't want to mess with any of these settings. We'll keep it the way it is. Not bad. I'm liking the frames on GTA 5. Oh, this is smooth. I like it. It's like stuck at 188. Look at that. It's not even moving. What? That's so weird. It's not budging from 188. What? It's capped at 188? That's so weird. Is that the most FPS this game can support? Hold on, let me check the settings again. This looks, this is weird. V-Sync is off. Why is it doing that? That's so crazy, guys. I have never seen this before. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section. If it didn't cap at 188, I feel like we can even reach 200 FPS. Look at that, this game runs so smooth. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Let me, um, let's lower down to 1440. I'm actually really curious if we're still gonna be capped. Yeah, it's capped. What? That's so weird. Something's going on. It's such an odd number too. Like why 188 out of all numbers? They should have just capped it at 200. Why even cap games to a certain FPS is beyond me. That is unfortunate. All right, well, that's GTA 5. All right, last but not least, we're gonna be testing out Red Dead Redemption 2. As far as the graphics, why not? Let's just go to max everything out. I wonder if there's the same cap on this one since they're both by the same game. Nope. This one is a bit more demanding compared to GTA 5. So we're averaging around 120 FPS, it looks like. This is fully maxed out settings, by the way. Okay, let's bring it down to 1440. Oh damn, we shot up quite a bit. 190. What is that, a 70 FPS increase? That's crazy. There it is, we just hit 200. Very nice, yeah. And here is 1080p. Uh, not much of a difference. Actually, pretty much the same frames as 1440p, so... Once again, we are getting bottlenecked here. So the results speak for themselves. If you're gonna be putting in a 1390K with an RTX 4090, the minimum resolution you should be playing at is 1440p in maxed out settings. Anything lower than that, you're just not getting any more performance out of the card. You're starting to hit diminishing returns. I think only a few games we saw an FPS increase by lowering it down to 1080p, but even then the difference was marginal. If you're playing competitively, I strongly recommend keeping the settings in 1440p, and if you must, just lower the settings in game. Don't bring down the resolution to 1080p, because believe it or not, playing in 1440p will actually give you more of an advantage against your opponents than playing in 1080p. You get to see things more clearly in the distance and it's just a lot easier to spot your enemies. But yeah, I mean, this is a hell of a combo. I can't wait to upgrade my PC with these parts. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. And that is all the testing I can do for you guys today. I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you. If you did enjoy it, do let me know by tossing a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.